All right, Ashley, we literally have just a few hours left until we're going to go, right? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. So we're leaving at what time? We're going to leave here at 1 o'clock in the morning. So we would at least have four more hours. You have about five hours of sleep. I know. Well, yeah, five hours because we're still going to have time to get you'll, you'll get more sleep in the car. <laughs> right? Next time we see everyone, we'll be driving down to the airport. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah. All right. Let's go to bed. Should we turn off the lights? Daddy, turn off the window. And turn off. Shut the window. Bye. Chelsea. <laughs> I have a flashlight. Did you get a new birthday present from Grandpa? <laughs> You're cutie. Good night. All right, Abby, you all ready for bed? Seems a little early to be going to bed, given how light it is outside, but you gotta get some extra sleep. If you guys can't go to sleep, we'll get you some melatonin, okay? Can we tell their teenagers? <laughs> There's like no talking back to me. Okay, get some sleep. I know you haven't moved for a while. No, it's gonna make it seem like I'm so lazy. <laughs> You're not lazy, you're just a teenager. It's like I haven't moved in an hour. <laughs> you, you've been up here all day. It's okay. All right. Until we go, I'll come wake you up. Okay? Okay. Good night. Good we'll come wake you up when it's time, okay? <laughs> all right. She just, we're going to let her be. She's cocooning. Yep. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. I went to bed like two and a half hours ago and because right at the point where I we were watching American Idol <laughs> so dumb but I anyway they were in Hawaii doing the finals to the top top 20 and I just had to watch it so anyway watched for another hour like, so I stopped watching it just after 10 which isn't that bad but then I got up and I realized that I hadn't done dishes so I had to hand wash some dishes there were only a few dishes you could have left them they would have been janky. And then I realized I hadn't done my hair. I hadn't straightened my hair. I'm sorry, but I have to start out. I don't even have makeup on yet, you guys. But I'm going to go back to sleep in the car. Yeah, don't put makeup on. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to put it on in the car I when we get to the airport. <laughs> Stop. So we literally have this backpack he's got on to put in the car. Your backpack. My backpack. And then we've got jackets out. The shoes are in the car already. The girls get got that ready yesterday. I'm getting dizzy because the melatonin is still like in fact in my get, body. Let's get rolling. <laughs> so we're gonna go and get the car ready to go and then we'll get the kids. So Oh. Sorry I interrupted you when I turned it off. What were you gonna say? Our adventure. <laughs> we're so tired, you guys. I'm gonna take more of that energy drink thing. I know, and I got a coat for him, but I'm going back to sleep when we get in the car. All right, that's all right. The two little ones are in here. Okay, shivering, you're shivering. I know. I'm gonna turn the car on. You can see you too. <laughs> lay down. Lay, lay your head down. Oh, that's cute. Lay your head down. Go right back to sleep. <laughs> okay. Where's your pillow? I can't, I can't go like all the way down there. No, just rest. All right, Chelsea, go to sleep. All right. We're on the good. road. We did good. We're like, it's uh, seven one, or what? One, seven. One thirty-five. Oh, goal, it is? Yeah, yeah one thirty. One thirty. But you girls are amazing. You guys ready to go? Yeah. They're very tired. Yeah, so. You guys can just go to sleep. Yeah, we're going to turn the light out. We're going to go to sleep for three hours and then we'll get to the airport. Oh my All God. right. Oh, okay. We made it to the shuttle at least. Oh, right? Yeah. Where's Ashley? Did we leave her in the car? No. Where are you? Right here. Right there. All right. All right. I'm barely functioning. Really? Guys, don't take melatonin three hours before you need to go somewhere. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to get to the airport and continue on. Hey. the airport we only had one little snafu when we got here I got all of my makeup on and we went to the bathroom 
And then we got an alert on our phone that the flight was being diverted to California and that like kind of freaked us out. But they said that we just, we had to stop and get gas. <laughs> I guess they don't have enough to get there all the way. So maybe it's just because of the amount of fuel in the plane that's coming here to get us. So anyway, we'll have a little bit of a delay in California and then we're headed over. Sorry, there's lots of noise. Are you ready to go? You excited? Yeah. We all in our seats here, ready to go. Abby got a window seat for the first time. Yep, she never gets the window seat. She never gets the window seat. She always she... gets the window yeah, but she got window seat this time. You want to show show what kind of plane we're doing out there? All right, you guys, I'm gonna cut into this video really quick because I gotta explain some stuff. I didn't film everything as it was happening, but we arrived in California. We saw them filling up our plane with fuel. We had a little fuel stick going into the plane. We thought everything was fine. Fuel stick. That's what it's called, right? Fuel line, yeah. whatever. So then we thought everything was fine, and the next thing we hear is like people are like, why is there a fire truck heading toward our plane? Why is there a police car? Why is there an ambulance? What's going on? What's going on? And then the first thing that the pilot came on and said was that they weren't sure if we just leaked fuel when we were filling up or if there was an actual fuel leak in the plane. So they went for like a half hour to go and try and figure that out. We just were sitting on a plane not knowing what we were going to do. And we're staying on this plane to go to Hawaii. So, like, we don't have to get off and do anything different. Yeah, we're we just waiting to take off. We weren't allowed off the plane. Plus, we weren't supposed to go to the city anyways. So, we're all just sitting there waiting. Then they say we might have a potential fuel leak or a fuel spill while we were fueling up. Yeah. They're looking into it. Either way, there's fire trucks. Right. Outside, outside our plane. plane. Okay. So, then we're going to cut really quick. And I'll let the pilot explain what happens next. Anyway, so... Um... They're going to pull the panel, but I just called dispatch. Um, they're checking to see if there is the possibility of getting another airplane coming in. That's an ETOPS airplane that can take us over water. And so we're looking at other options to try to get you there. Um, we're also, the, the two pilots here are also on a crunch time because we're not allowed to fly over nine hours of block time in a, in a duty day. And right now we have uh, about 22 minutes, maybe even less now, about uh, uh, 13 minutes of spare time. So if we have, if we can get another airplane and close the door and get out of here, we actually have 13 minutes to get from here to the runway and off the ground. So we'll do our best to get you there. We're looking for an airplane. If we can't get this one fixed. Um, Sorry. Uh, about an hour um, to tell us if we're good or not good. They're going to work on it. So we're going to um, get you off the airplane so you can stretch, use the restroom, get some food. Uh, the gate agent, actually, I need you to stay in your seats right now because they're putting the tail stand on the airplane. I don't, well, you don't have to stay in your seats, but just don't move forward. Um, and as soon as they do that, she'll come down and she'll let you guys off. Uh, they'll try to, to take care of you as best they can, and we'll try to get this airplane fixed. I appreciate your patience. Really apologize for this. Um, we want to go too. We've been in the Pacific Northwest just as long as the rest of y'all. All right, so we're doing the thing that we said we weren't going to do. We paid a fortune for airport food. We've got $2 yogurts and a $10 salad, $5 smoothies, and 
six unhappy customers. <laughs> <laughs> so I we'll like explain these. more when we can, but we're just hanging out at the airport, hoping we can get a fixed plane. Wish us luck. <laughs> So this is a bit awkward, we've never done this in public before, but update. <laughs> we, it's 1.30 right now, yep. and... We can't go back on our plane. Until 5, they think. No, we can't get on our plane. They're sending another plane from Seattle. Yeah. How ironic is that? So the other plane's coming, no. but we won't probably leave till 5, yeah. which means we won't get in Hawaii time till... 8 p.m. 8. So Just we last were planning night. on getting in at 11. 11. So we lost an entire day. But it, it was because, and I, I guess maybe you'll see earlier in the video, they fueled the, well first we were supposed to fly direct from Florida. Yeah, I don't want to explain it all. I don't want to explain it all right now. That's the update now. We'll do a sit down and we'll kind of explain everything. Just wanted to get this update in here now. Are you playing with the corks? Yeah, I try to play. Uh, You're stacking them up? Yeah. Well, I didn't do that. Oh. Uh -huh. Knock them all over. Wish us luck. There it is. We have a plane, Ashley. Can you believe it? Yes, I thought we were all gonna have a plane. I know, I thought we weren't either. There we go. Six hours. I tried my best. No, you did amazing. Let's try this again, shall we? Where are we, Ashley? Why? We, <laughs> we made it. And this one over there didn't make it so well. Uh, threw so we'll, the last little bit. Yeah, we'll ignore that. This oh, one is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is why we didn't want to do a late night arrival. We did we good it. though, we made it. And we found our room. We'll take you guys around. Wow. Here's the kitchen before it gets messy. All right, so here's this is your bed, Chelsea and Ashley. Well, we're gonna that folds out. Yep, and then a little couch there and a little table. We'll go out there in just a second. And then there's a little chair there. A view of the kitchen from over here. We're just gonna do this now before it gets all messy. And then we're thinking this is the master. We've got a king size bed and our own little lanai out there with a TV and dresser, little table. And then 
We have our bedroom leading into the bathroom. Pretty good. I like it. Looks like there's good closet space. Now let's go look at Kaylee and Abby's bedroom over here. So they're gonna have to share a bed. They're not too happy about that, but I told them they're in Hawaii, they can have. And then there's the bathroom. All right, so we can't see much, but there's the resort out there. Smells wonderful. Sounds wonderful. We'll just be able to see it tomorrow. <laughs> and we're very tired. We made it. We've had a very long flight. We're laying in bed and we've had a really long flight. You know, we lost an entire day here in Hawaii. We planned this whole, whole trip to arrive in Hawaii at 11 o'clock in the morning and I have an entire day to enjoy Hawaii, and we didn't get, get that. done, go to Costco, do our plan that we talked right. about in the other videos. And we didn't get to do that. Yeah. So we're really bummed, and, but Alaska Airlines, like through the entire process, like they took care of us. They did get What we didn't talk about in any, any of the videos that we took, we paid for that first little bit of food. We probably paid like $30, 30 for all that food. something like that. But after that happened, the agent that was the at the counter, ticket counter, she just started printing out vouchers for food. I mean, we we got vouchers for $150 worth of food, and she was still handing them out when we were getting on the plane. Yeah, like, and they she, really took care of everybody. Yeah, they kept a good, they kept people informed. They were like, you know, what are you gonna do for food? They start, they really took mm -hmm. care of everybody. So Alaska Airlines stepped up. They wanted to make sure we, because we missed two meals, like we missed lunch and we missed dinner by not being on that flight and yeah. being in Hawaii. So they took care of us for those meals and then they also just kept telling us, look, we don't have, once they found out what plane was coming for us from Seattle, they didn't have food on that plane. They were hoping to have food on the plane, but because they, they were rushing it there, there was no food. They barely had drinks for mm -hmm. it, but they tried to get cases of drinks. So then that's so. why they kept handing out vouchers and they said, go get yourself some extra snacks, get yourself some extra drinks. Just stock yourself up. So we only took $150 worth of vouchers for food and we just kind of got what we could, but we could have gotten more. We just got they a also, nice email. When we were sitting in the airport, right before they got the plane for us there, we got an email saying, you're gonna have a credit. Oh yeah. We're gonna help fix you, but check your email and you'll find out what we're gonna do to make this better for you. And we just got that email. We just got the email. So. Yeah. Like Dana said, they gave us an alert that they were gonna take care of us because they knew that the day hadn't gone well. And we just got the email, and we got an email for every single one of us because, you know, each name. And the email said we get $250 toward a credit <laughs> for future travel for each person. Each person. So that's pretty awesome because- So guess who's <laughs> coming back to Hawaii next year? And he said we couldn't. I make it happen, folks. <laughs> I make it happen, I mean, and I'm gonna make my we kids. We have to use the credits. We have to use the credits within a year. Yeah, so we have to we come back. Can't wait the two years. I was gonna say, not that we couldn't go somewhere else. Maybe if we ever get comments back, you guys could like tell us where we should go with our two hundred fifty dollars tickets. <laughs> Um, it's not gonna pay for the entire plane ticket. I'll just say that. But that's a big chunk, man. But that's, that's a huge a chunk. chunk when we get credits. If you haven't watched how we budget for Hawaii, go watch all of our playlists for Hawaii 2019 because yeah. we budget these trips to make it very budget friendly. So this is this going is to be really big, help. And so we really appreciate Alaska Airlines stepping up. They're yeah. a quality airline. They always have been. The people at the gate, the people on the planes, the crew, everyone was really positive. Yeah. And we kept cheering and like clapping for not only the agent at the counter, but for the entire staff because our original staff that was on our original plane, they had to go and like take a nap in the airplane, so in the airline somewhere. I don't know if they took a nap, but they well, they were gone for, for like five hours. Probably because they had nothing to do. So right, and then they came back and flew again with us. Like yeah. they were amazing. Yeah, and um, we didn't get the same pilot. Like they said, they couldn't do. Yeah, we um, got, got two new pilots that showed up. Yeah. And but anyway, Alaska Airlines did really good. My arm's getting really bloody tired holding this thing we're up. We're tired. No we're going to bed. We're so. in Hawaii. If you want to see our epic Hawaii adventure, subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you can see when we post these videos. And come along and join us on our trip. Aloha. Aloha.